Hello guys, Susanna here. I'm back again. Thought I'd um, do a little bit of decorating on here. Um, I wouldn't mind doing some of that um, stitch on there. What's it called? That stem. This stitch. This little stipple stitch in here. Um, but I might just do some straight stitch and all that kind of stuff on there. Like I wanted to use this one like um, Anne did on um, her one. And then she was just doing a lot of straight. I think she's doing straight in circles. But I um, just want to work with what I've got. And I've got this and I was thinking of making a tag to put in there. It just sort of matches it. Nice lady. So that's where it'll go on. That's the front page. So I'm going to pull that over and possibly um, where are we? Here it is. I'll use that thread for there. I've got some quite a bit of thread elements here. But I quite like this, and I think I'm going to use that to do those little stitches around there. But I'd like to stitch down this, and I don't know whether I do it with the fine thread or do I get out some of this. I think I think I'm going to use this, to be honest, and I'll probably use the big one because you're going to do a running stitch and a nice long thread but I'll keep this I'll keep that close by and um, we'll see how we go okay oh god they were too small and too big um, there we go, with all my little bits of threads here, I think what I've chosen hasn't been too bad. It's really pretty as well, but um, what I may do is just put a couple of dobs of glue. Okay. I've done in the past. Just to hold it down. Now I want to hold this down. Because as you can see, this is an odd shape. But I wanted it to um, you know, go up a little bit there. So just pull that over. Because I wanted to keep that fray bit. There's the top. I quite like the way it's frayed. Okay. A couple of the little dots. Okay. Dots along here. Up the top. Cut off any excess. This just happened to go up on a bit of an angle, which was cool. That needed to be pulled down a tad. There we go. Oh, I 
needs to be done is be held in place at this point. Too much over, we need a little bit of room. There we go. Can you keep this big? Because sometimes that's all you need. got it actually on is some linen that I got from Roxy Creations actually which is pretty cool I do enjoy stitching but And what I've got in here is not actually craft glue to glue, it's because I've ran out of that. It's actually tacky, tacky glue, tacky craft glue. So um, it actually works really well with um, fa fabric, which is good. Now, what we are going to do. Rather than pinning it all, I prefer to have a little bit of that. And then do a might just start on here actually and just do a running stitch and because you've got a nice long needle makes it nice and easy straight as you can I just want to do a bit of a running stitch along the top here at least I know it's not going to go anywhere at this point This is where I need my symbol. And come up through there. I'm probably going to do a few. I 
if you try and keep it the same, it gives a bit of a um, some sort of arrangement to it. Within you know same size. Oop. like the way that the colour uh, matches that. Better okay. go underneath again. I like the way it's um, a fine I just want to do a few forms of different straight stitches. Now go up again. probably have enough to go about to there and then we'll have to go back. I was actually thinking it would probably be really cool to do a stitch that goes through those. I reckon I might try that. So we'll go back again. Try and match it up. Doesn't have to be too perfect, it's still primitive looking stitch. stitches I reckon we'll stop about there and then I reckon we'll continue to do one more there but while I'm here I'm just gonna catch a little bit of a thread underneath See that? Nope. And then maybe do a stitch that goes over, under, over. 
And then over to the next one. Maybe over, over, and up. Over. Might stand up and do this. It. Go under, go over. That's probably what I should have done in the last one. And that way they're going to stay a little more. Yep. So what I might do is pull those out because I need to catch those other ones. It just seems to be hanging. I'll show you in a minute. I'll just undo this and then I'll come back. There we go. Now thread this and then I'll stand up and go closer to the camera. Okay, so. There we go. We've got it coming out from there. We go under and make sure it's in the middle and then over there, down like that. Oop. Then go over to the next one and we end up cutting out the top there. Oop. over, catch it under and then over then oop. where are we? I caught it on the bottom okay go end up on the bottom hopefully you can see that Then we go over, under, in the middle, I mean it's going to be much easier for me when I'm sitting down, and then over on the top, hopefully you can see what I mean. And then go over to the other side here. Come out the top there like that. Oop. And go over, under, and then that over because this has got four, you'll be going underneath that one and then coming up here. Hmm. And then, because it's got four, you would probably go underneath like that and come out here. I like that. I love this spray. What do you think of that? I, I want to get closer, but I just don't want it to go all weird on me. Um, when I get to about this one, I'll continue on and then and then come back so we are now there so you go over over that one go under and you just sort of under so it catches it then over and then under and make sure you do it in the middle 
Oh my goodness. Here we go. Now, I'll probably pause it for a sec and then come back. Well, it's only at 20 minutes now, so what I've finished, I finished that along there, and just to finish off the thread, I've done some stitches along the back there. It's come out there. And what I want to do, I'm probably just going to go stitch and then leave, even sort of do a semicircle, like stitch around the little dots and then sort of just stitch around there. But that I would like to, I'm just sort of going to go up and down that way and then I'll probably go across that way and across that way. I want to go around the S maybe a couple of times just to define it. Um, and then in the centre... And the leftover remaining bits do that little um, stem stitch. So I'll start doing that a little bit and then um, I'll show you what I've done. And then on the next video I'll show you um, what, I've, what I've done left over. So I'll show you what I mean. Um, where do we start? Have I done a knot in it? Yes, I have. So, so I'm sort of just going to follow the curve and the thing of the actual um, of the actual buttons. And it, you won't see it too much on the um, the first one, but when you go around it a couple of times, that's when you start to see that the pattern of the. And it's just to define it a little bit and make it look like it's an actual S. So just do a running stitch around it. things that you can do. I might link um, Anne's video below where she shows you what to do with um, different straight stitches. And sometimes you just follow the pattern of either the fabric or the buttons or I just happen to be using buttons in this particular one. Now fairly long. It's actually quite nice using one one thread but because it's a really a good vintage thread it's quite strong. having a longer thread just catch okay. you can see what I'm trying to achieve first one's usually the hardest one after that it gets it a little bit easier. I thought what I might do is once we get to here it sort of stops a little bit to there and then I might go back and show you
just for the purpose of the video. Now, we'll get Hoping to get at least maybe two or three around it. Okay, I'll just do this one. is on when you, the video is on I tell you so much quicker when you haven't got the pressure of the video okay. that looks like the thread what I might do is I'll pause it you, you sort of get the drift of what I'm talking about. I'll pause it and then I'll do it and back on again. I don't know if I can show you, but you know how you just sort of just do I'll just running stitch all the way around and then sort of back again. Probably do that around here, stop there, and you just fill in those little gaps there to make the the S stand out. And I'll just, There we go. So I'll finish that and I'll show you on the next video. Um, where are we? Um, it's going to be once that's done, I'll just stitch that on and then that will become like a little pocket and that'll be my first um, page. And those are the pages that to follow and the other pages will probably be fabric samples some lace samples um, might even do just a bit more slow stitching so I'll just see how we go I quite like how that looks but um, I'll just do a lot of the stuff behind the scenes there you go and you'll be able to have a look starting to look quite nice actually I like it okay I will catch you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye